A Prayer and a Message, Jehoshaphat's Prayer to the Lord, and Jehaziel's Message from the Lord, Second Chronicles chapter 20, verses 6 through 12, and verse 14a and verse 15. Welcome, viewers and subscribers, to my channel, The Backstory and More. I am Audrey. If you are new here, please notice that in this space, I will be highlighting Bible characters, events, and locations. Jehoshaphat's Prayer Lord, the God of our ancestors, are you not the God who is in heaven? You rule over all the kingdoms of the nations. Power and might are in your hand, and no one can withstand you. Our God, did you not drive out the inhabitants of this land before your people Israel and give it forever to the descendants of Abraham, your friend? They have lived in it and have built in it a sanctuary for your name, saying, if calamity comes upon us, whether the sword of judgment or plague or famine, we will stand in your presence before this temple that bears your name and will cry out to you in our distress, and you will hear us and save us. But now here are men from Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, whose territory you would not allow Israel to invade when they came from Egypt. So they turned away from them and did not destroy them. See how they are repaying us by coming to drive us out of the possession you gave us as an inheritance. Our God, will you not judge them? For we have no power to face this vast army that is attacking us. We do not know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Jehaziel's message. The spirit of the Lord came on Jehaziel as he stood in the assembly. He said, listen, King Jehoshaphat, and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. Remember, the battle is not yours, but God's. Thank you so very much for listening. Join me soon for the next backstory. Stay safe.